Hey everybody, it's Brad. Um, today I'm going to make you a video that shows you how to find things that you downloaded. So not just embroidery designs, although I'm going to obviously focus on embroidery designs, but pictures, uh, anything that you can download from the internet. There are a few specific locations where things get downloaded on your computer by default, and if you don't know how to change them or you haven't changed them, this is where they're going to be. Um, I have a lot of people that call up and ask me because they haven't been able to find something that they downloaded, ask me where on their computer it is. And it's actually pretty easy to, to figure out because uh, Windows computers all download things by default to the same place. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to open up a web browser here. Just going to use Internet Explorer. It goes to my home page. Uh, I am going to go to this time babylock.com. Babylock com just because they have some free embroidery designs I can download which is a good example to use for this so I'm gonna go over to the downloads page here uh, and just click on that although if I were smart I would have clicked on free designs oh well so I clicked on downloads if I scroll down to the bottom it gets to the free designs section um, and I'm just gonna pick this Alissimo Rose heart frame left click on that and here is where it's going to let me download this design. So I'm going to click on download now. So I'm left clicking right now. And a little interface opens up at the bottom here that says, do you want to open or save R14 from babylock.com? I don't want to open it. I want to save it on my computer. If I just left click on save, it says that the download has completed. And, um, you know, a lot of people would just close this. But if you hit open folder right here, then it takes you right to the, the file that you downloaded in the folder that it's in. And it's in Brad Downloads. So how do I get to here if I am, you know, if I close this out? How do I get back to here? Um, so because it's easy to find this the first time because there's that little link. But if I close this and I come back another day, close my browser, I come back another day and here I am on my computer, where do I go to get my design? Um, if you don't know how to get to it, you're never going to find it. So uh, here's what you do. Uh, you go down to this little uh, Explorer button here. I have a ton of, of icons down on the bottom of my screen. You probably don't have that many. Um, but this you should have, whether you've got Windows 8, whether you've got Windows 7, um, it, it'll, it'll be there. So you click on this, and what opens up is uh, your libraries, where it has documents, music, pictures, videos. <clears throat> but on the left-hand side of the screen, you've got all these other places you can go to. Um, and the default place that Windows is going to save your stuff that you download over the, over the Internet is going to be on C drive. So you left-click on local disk C, you double-click on users. One of the users should be your name or the name of your computer. If you didn't set it up to have your name, most people's is their name. Double-click on your name, and then a folder called Downloads. Click on that. There is my design, r14.pes. That's the design um, that I just downloaded off the internet. Um, so that's how it works. Now I can take this design. Maybe I want to uh, copy this design to a flash drive and sew it out on my embroidery machine. How do I do that? Now I did do another video on this called Copying Designs to USB Drives, but I'm going to fold a little bit of this into this video here. I'm going to plug a USB drive into the back of my computer. Okay, I've plugged it in. Sorry, that took longer than I thought because I had to unplug something else. Okay, I don't even have to open this to view the files. I'm just going to close this little autoplay interface. I'm going to grab the r14.pes file and by grab it I mean left click click and drag see how you can see this little indication that the cursor has changed to be grabbing something and I've uh, so I've, I'm still holding the left mouse button I drag it down to USB disk H and let go and that's it it's in there now I have now copied this design that I just downloaded over the internet onto my flash drive it's ready to sew out on my computer um, so similarly uh, maybe we might be not doing embroidery designs one day we're, um, we're downloading a design that we want to, uh, we're downloading a picture that we want to turn into an embroidery design maybe. So we can go to Google. Now the interface on Google has changed a little bit since my other videos that I've done. Um, so if we go up to here, now I don't have a bar across the top that's black that has these different options, but I still have the images button here. So I click on images and I can type in something that I'm looking for. Maybe I'm looking for a good quality Ravens logo. 
Okay, now here we go. We've got all these Ravens logos. I pick one. Say that's the one that I want. I'm going to view the image. Wow, that is a really high quality logo. That's really good. That'd be good for digitizing. Anyway, right click it, save picture as, and hit save. Okay, now, where did that just put that? Um, it actually puts pictures in a different location. You, I'm going to go back down to my little library here, click on that, and in in uh, under libraries, one of these options is pictures. I click on that, and look, there is my picture. Uh, it'll do the same thing for documents, music, and videos. Just by default, that's where it will put those things in these individual library folders. Um, so that way, uh, you'll know where the stuff that you downloaded has gone. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.